Esteemed guests, faculty, students, and distinguished members of the community. I'd like to welcome everyone to the installation ceremony for the 15th president of Whitman College, Dr. Sarah Bolton. I'm thankful to Creator for this day and my heart is happy to be here. On behalf of the Confederated Tribes, I hope that your tenure here will be one of great memories, progress, and strength. As the 16th superintendent in our school district's 164 year history, it is my extreme pleasure and honor to celebrate and welcome Dr. Sarah Bolton, Whitman's 15th president, and its glorious 164 year legacy of excellence. I pledge on behalf of all Witties to partner with you in mobilizing the full talent, expertise, and philanthropic support of alumni to help prepare our students to be the broadly educated thinkers and leaders to make our communities and society better. I've had the privilege of working with President Bolton these last eight months, and I'm confident in the direction she'll lead this institution. On behalf of the faculty, I welcome you, President Bolton, to Whitman College. We look forward to partnering with you as teachers, as scholars, as colleagues, sharing in all of our collective wisdom and enthusiasm to fulfill Whitman's promise. Together, we will build a brighter future for our students, our community, and our world. So by virtue of the power vested in me as the chair of the Board of Trustees, I now install Sarah R. Bolden as president of Whitman College. This is a moment of high stakes. It's a moment where our actions matter. We are called. We are called to ask how our college can make the biggest impact for good. Finding the right ways forward are going to call for the collaborative wisdom and the perspective of our whole community. We have this opportunity together and we have this necessity together to lead. Building collectively from Whitman's tremendous strengths, boldly and with hope, in ways that will meet the future. The poem that Amanda Gorman wrote for the 2020 presidential inauguration is entitled, The Hill We Climb. And it ends with these powerful lines. When day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Whitman College, in Sarah Bolton, you have found a leader who will lead through modeling the core values of a liberal education and bring vision that projects those core values into the future. And I am certain she will bring that same approach here to Walla Walla. 